So there was a question about the constant difference algorithm and why that works. So I think the first place to start there is to look at the difference, uh, and to look at what this, what a subtraction is telling us. So b minus a. Um, so how what is b minus a? Well, if we look at the numbers on a number line. So b is sitting somewhere up here, and a is sitting somewhere here, and the b minus a is the distance between, so the distance between b and a on a number line is a, is a good representation of the difference b minus a. So the idea with the compensation or the constant difference algorithm is that if I shifted b and a by the same amount up or down the number line, uh, in other words, if I added 10 to a and added 10 to b, then the difference between uh, the difference between 10 plus B and 10 plus A will still be the same as the original di uh, difference B minus A. And that, that 10, there's nothing special about that 10. There is, for convenience sake, later on, it's gonna, you'll see when we actually use the algorithm, you'll see that the, the 10, and we'll, we'll, use, uh, we'll adjust both numbers by 10 or by 100 or by 1,000 or whatever's convenient. Um, usually not each of those. We won't need to adjust by 10, 100, and 1,000 or, or higher. Uh, but if I'm trying to subtract uh, too many ones from the number of ones that I have, then I can add 10 ones, so long as I add 10, one, 10 to the, the number that I'm subtracting. Okay, so let's look at a specific example. Um, let's say 361 minus uh, 100, um, 178. All right, so here's a case where the first thing I'm going to do is try to take eight from the one, eight ones from the one one that I have. Well, I don't have eight ones, so I need to, I'm not going to borrow. In the standard algorithm, you would borrow from the six. You would borrow, you would make an exchange. You'd take one of those tens and make it ten ones. But with the constant difference algorithm or the compensation algorithm, I'm going to add ten so I'm, that, that 1 is going to become 11, but I haven't changed the 6, though I still have 6 10s there. So now I have 11 ones, and I can take 8 from 11. Uh, let me go ahead and, and adjust both numbers. I've added 10 to the top number, so I'm going to add 10 to the bottom number. So that 7 becomes an 8. All right? Notice that 178 plus 10 is 188, just like, well, 361 that plus 10 is 371, but it's also 360 and 11 ones. And this is, this is, I'm doing this in a very convenient way because now I have eight ones to subtract. And when I subtract eight ones from 11, I can end up with three ones. All right, so now let's move on to the tens. I'm trying to subtract eight tens from six tens. Well, I don't have eight tens to subtract, so what I'll do is, is I'll add 100 to both numbers. And the way I'm going to, again, do this very conveniently. Remember here, I don't have six, I don't have eight tens, I only have six tens. But if I add 100, that's, that's the same as adding 10 tens. So I'll make this six a 16, so that's 16 tens. Now I do have enough to take away eight tens. Okay, now I added, added 100 to the top number. I need to add 100 to the bottom number. So this one becomes a two. So remember what I had before, it was 188. If I add a 100, I get 288. Same as I had up here, uh, well, that one's a little harder, harder to read because I had uh, 360 and then 11 ones, and now I'm going to have 316 tens and 11 ones, which is the same as adding 100. Okay, so now I have eight tens to take away from the 16, so uh, 16 minus 8 is 8, and then the last step is just subtracting the 100, so 2 from 3 is 1. And that is uh, that is the constant difference algorithm.